Let me tell you about the time I played a gig with one mallet. Drummers, I know you know what it's like to drop or break a stick in the middle of a gig. That's why you have the stick bag right to the right where you can grab it before anybody even notices. Now, as a jazz vibraphonist, I once experienced something similar to that. I've definitely had the mallet heads pop off and go flying into the crowd and uh, nice people with bruises on their foreheads returning it to the stage. But nothing really compares to this one gig that I played back in 2005. And uh, I actually learned quite a lot from the experience. So that's why I would like to share it with you now. I started the gig with four mallets. In fact, I might have even had more with me, uh, but I left them in the car and the gig was in New York City, which means a lot of times you have to park like 19 blocks away from where the gig is. So I was playing with a Hammond B3 organ player. The band had guitar and drums, so it wasn't like I was the only one playing chords, right? So I was there. My main thing was to play solos and, and just add to the general music. time I didn't have a lot of money and so I was buying the cheapest possible mallets that uh, were being sold on eBay. They did sound good, I liked them. I had many pairs of them but I broke most of them. We start playing the gig and the only thing I can really remember about the repertoire was that it consisted of a lot of gospel music along with some standards, things like Bye Bye Blackbird and God Bless the Child. This was a gig, by the way, it went pretty long. It was probably like nine until two. Somewhere in the first set, I broke a mallet. It was one of the things where I'm playing and suddenly... <laughs> what, me worry? I still got three mallets left, no problem. So I keep playing, I'm grooving, we're rocking out, things are going well, people seem to like it. And uh, yeah, then, then, then this happens. The old splintered rattan. Yes, this is a fun one. Again, disclaimer, this is not a pair of mallets. The pair of mallets on the gig in question uh, no longer exists anywhere in the world. They are gone. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go back to my Mill Jackson roots and play with two mallets from now on. Uh, still had two sets left to go on the gig. So we're playing and I don't know, I don't know what happened, but I busted, I busted a third mallet. I busted three mallets in the span of, I don't know, hour and a half. And so then I was really faced with a quandary. The gig still had like another, I think another, at least another full set to go. Not to mention, I felt like a moron standing up there wearing like a suit and tie with one mallet. What, what it really forced me to do was, first of all, I just had to ignore how loud it was getting and not try to overstep my possible dynamic range. This is an important lesson that I take with me even now when I'm playing in situations where I feel that everything is loud, I will generally just kind of refuse to, to go outside of what I know I'm comfortable with. If I had broken that mallet, I don't know what I would have done. Probably had to make a mallet out of like a wooden spoon from the kitchen or something. The second thing that I really had to do was limit the type of lines I was trying to play. No more double time 16th note runs. A lot of the garbage got trimmed out of the solo. I had to really choose my notes carefully and play the best melodic line I could possibly play given the technical problem that I was having. I distinctly remember playing God Bless the Child with one mallet. After the organ player took a solo in which, you know, he kind of brought the house down and then it's like, it's my turn, me and my one mallet. It's like, it's like standing there with a lollipop and I'm somehow supposed to do something that's going to move this audience to like want to stand up and shout. So 
sometimes when a mallet is about to break, you just don't know if it's if the head is going to pop off. It happens very suddenly. There's no warning. There's no oh, I think the the felt is falling apart or the rattan seems to be falling apart. It's like nope, gone. And then then you're stuck with this. You can see this happening, right? This this is something you can see from a mile away. I highly recommend trying to practice soloing with one mallet. It'll force you to leave out the garbage. There is one other time I drove six hours to a gig and realized that I forgot the crossbar to my vibraphone, so I had to I had to borrow a vibraphone from a local school. Uh, yeah, that was fun.